Hi guys. Um, it's Sunday, May 10th. It's Mother's Day. Uh, this weekend we've been working on our chicken tractor. Um, it's a Salatin style chicken tractor. Um, if you don't know what a chicken tractor is, it is mobile housing for specifically for meat birds. So you put all your meat chickens in and then you can move them to new grass every day so that they're always on fresh grass they're always eating and foraging and they're always outside and then we supplement them with feed and lots of water and it keeps them safe from predators and it keeps them out of the weather the new tractor is um, built out of one by sixes and chicken wire and some kind of galvanized metal sheeting that we had here already on the property so that we didn't have to buy new. Um, hyperlapse video rather than a how-to of us constructing our new Salatin style chicken tractor. So hopefully if you've had questions on what they look like, where to put bracing, things like that, the video is at least a, a quick summary. I'm gonna try keeping it in it. Okay. I mean, eventually I'm out. Perfect. I'm just trying not to lean on it and I can see it better like this. Okay. Trying to get it lined up. Make sure it's right in the middle, huh? Yeah, we're building a chicken tractor, and we built the wood base yesterday, and now we're putting on all the extra things so that we can move all chickens in it. We did some chicken wire all around the front and the lid of it, and then we just, and we're putting these metal sheets on the sides of the back and the back and the roof of the back so that they have a place to get out of the way. And so there's all of this. And they'll put it on the last sheet of metal. Right there. It's one of the last scoots, I think. Now, you said that we put our chickens in it. We do put our chickens in it, but what kind of chickens? Uh, just our... Meat chickens? Yeah. Yeah, just our meat chickens. 
Why in the world would you keep chickens in a tractor? Because it's not actually a tractor. Oh, okay. It's like a building for them that you build. And then what do you do with it? And then oh, totally you different. put another batch of chickens in after you put your yeah, buns? Well, yeah. So, so we put the chickens in and then we move it every day, right? Oh yeah, we move it every day so that every day they have new grass to scratch stuff up in. Like <laughs> wrong-handed, sorry. Um, yeah, so we move it to new grass every day. Mm-hmm. And then I'm putting in one last piece, I think. Yep, and you did a bunch of these screws on the other side. Yep, I did a lot of the work. And it's and it started raining, so we just did work in the rain and it just stopped raining. So that's good. You wanna do one? Yeah. Sure, sure. Right. And Jack's gonna help. Right there. Hold these. Why I hold these. <laughs> You're gonna do them. Oh, so, hand it over. Oh, sorry, so. <laughs> It's okay. Going to put in the last screw or two, I think. One right there, and then we'll do another one here, another one here. And we finished the chicken tractor in just two days. Done? Yep. With some rope. Some rope. Now we're going to add some rope onto it, I think, to be able to pull it around. That's the chicken tractor. This is our seventh year raising meat chickens. And our first chicken tractor finally bit the dust after we moved. It was a PVC hoop house style chicken tractor, which was great. It was lightweight, easy to move. Um, we had hardly any losses from predators while we used it. It's just it was out in the sun too long. We've moved it so many times over the years. Uh, we did one last small batch of birds in it August of 2019 after we moved and we were ready for a new one. We looked at several designs and chose the Joel Salatin style chicken tractor. Um, we get a lot of high winds so we were a little concerned about using the Siskovich style tractor with it's a little higher. Um, it's higher and tarp covered and that's our old one had a tarp as well and it can if we get a lot of wind it can really catch that and we've had ours tip in the past so we're going with a, a nice low um, low profile chicken tractor this time around and hopefully it lasts another seven to ten years.